the script is pretty fucking bad. It's a mix between Dallas Buyers Club and 21 Grams. So naturally, it's a fucking comedy. I think this script is beautiful. If I had to rank this film, I think it falls between like Schindler's List and The Godfather. What the fuck? All right, so this script, The Omen Queen. It's fucking stupid. The motherfucking title is stupid. To be frank, it is perhaps the worst fucking script I have ever read in my life. I've gotten nothing but compliments about my script. I think this script is, if I had to rank it, I would say in between Citizen Kane and uh, Schindler's List, probably closer to Citizen Kane, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so the word omen in the title is actually a code word we came up with while editing the last film we did. Last time we were editing this project, this guy kept walking by in these really thin sweatpants, and he was definitely free balling. And he had this really thick, long penis. And I kept trying to get Tony and Luki to look at it, but they wouldn't notice every time he would walk by. And so finally we came up with the code word, omen. And yeah, there was a lot of detail there. A lot of detail. Okay, so let's take a look at this shit. This fucking shit should be called War and Peace because it has a thousand different locations and over 13 fucking main characters. This script is pretty intense. The worst part about this project is that it has to be five minutes long. Five fucking minutes. That's like a lobotomy without anesthesia. I'm pretty sure you can't contain it into anything. The penis, I mean. That man's free ball and penis we saw at the library, it was huge. I know, right? That's how I felt when I found out that Ethan, of all people, is gonna be the DP of my film. <laughs> I think Ethan is the last artist, the, the, the last real artist left on campus. I only have three rules of filmmaking, okay? Rule number one, I always wear sunglasses. Day, night, I don't give a fuck. To quote Corey Hart, I always wear my sunglasses at night. Rule two, I only shoot in black and white. Color, fuck color, it's a little slutty thing, I don't like it. I like classy, all right? Blue? No. I don't even know what the shit this is. Great. That's what I like. All the classics are shot in black and white. It's like having Stefan Spielberg on the set with oh, us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not touch my fucking camera. You understand? Do not touch my shit. I swear to God, you touch my shit one more time and I'll eat your fucking heart out. You got it? I know. Isn't he great? Rule number three, okay? I'm always behind the camera, never in front of it. I am never in the shot. You understand? I want it in my contract. I'm... Are you shooting right now? Are you... You son of a bitch. We have a sound person? I thought this was, like, all gonna be post-dubbed. I haven't even seen her. What the fuck are you doing? You're not even recording right. Just, just give it to me. Being the sound person on this, it's really hard. I've been training for weeks to try to what be out of every frame. Get the fuck out of Pretty there. awesome at it though. Everyone doesn't even know I'm here. They haven't seen me in days. I pretty much became a professional at sound recording after the experimental film. I knew everything there is to know about it. Silva's awesome. Do you want to be a pretty girl? Yes, yes! I want to be a pretty girl! I need a heart transplant. The doctor said your heart is too big. Well, since when is that a bad thing? Damn this hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. You should have never donated to those starving children in Ethiopia. Why do we even bother? Malaria is probably going to wipe them all out anyway. So, this black guy on Mars. Do you mean the black mall? No, no, a black guy. He says he could get me a new heart. How are you going to make that money? I'm gonna win the drag race. Oh, girl. You're in big leagues now. So be careful not to get stung by a queen bee. Am I beautiful? Oh, darling, you are always beautiful. She's hard.